coming up on daytime. Find out how to get rid of those pesky ticks. Common sight is in between the toes. Okay. Tweezers with a fine point come to the head of the tick mm -hmm. and pull it straight. Okay. And don't like twist it. <laughs> Summertime means lots of outdoor time with your pets, and that's why it's extremely important to do a tick check. Veterinarian Dr. Melissa Webster of Tampa Veterinary Hospital is with us here today to tell us how to check for ticks and remove those little buggers. Hi, doctor. Hello. Good morning. Welcome. I appreciate being it's here. It's warm here all the time. We don't get the winter months mm -hmm. to make the ticks and fleas go away. Right. They're here 24-7. Okay. And unfortunately, a lot of people like Mia just had a little bit of something by her eye, and it looks like a tick. Uh -huh. So be careful when you're removing things to make sure it is a tick. <laughs> make sure it's not a mole or <laughs> Correct. a eye thing. That's right. And Mia's a more, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. She's amazingly awesome. Mm -hmm. So how do we check for, check for ticks? Please, you know, pet your pet backwards okay. helps a little bit, like coming backwards on a hair coat, behind the ears, behind the armpits, under the toes, and, you know, in the back, in the front, in between, mm -hmm. and just kind of feeling for any bumps. Mm -hmm. so the male ticks are really small. So they can be oh. misleading, mm -hmm. but a lot of times a female tick will attach with a male by her too, okay. Okay. and the females are what we're accustomed to really seeing that are exploded or look fat, yeah. you know, and like a big old gray bubble on yeah. them. Yeah, um, I used especially to squish those when I was a little girl. Yes, yes. <laughs> And now we Which can't squish them, so, right. you know, All right, so tell us what to do. Okay, so you run your hands all over your pet's body. You find a tick. Please oh, right. get some glasses. Here in Florida, sunglasses work great, but <laughs> I've got these. And you get yourself something to protect your hands, like okay. a little cloth. And say I found a tick. Common sight is in between the toes. Okay. Tweezers with a fine point come to the head of the tick mm -hmm. and pull it straight. Okay. And don't, like, twist it. The things that we grew up doing, like burning them with a match, um, <laughs> witch hazel, pouring alcohol on them, don't do that. It doesn't work so much. Okay. Um, and put the tick in alcohol when you're done. Don't flush it? Please don't. Why? Because, because we have Lyme's disease, or Lichia here, and that tick, I mean, they are little survivors. So oh. it will just take a swim for a little bit down the toilet. Doesn't I'm imagining some B horror movie where the ticks come out of the whole sewage. I'm sure they made one. <laughs> All right. So once you put it in the alcohol and it dies, can then you flush yes, it? Yes. Then you can. Okay. I, throw it in the garbage. You could flush it if you need okay. to. Okay. Excellent. Right. All right. Well, tell us about Lyme disease. How is it more common than people think? Please, yes. One of my dear yeah. friends has it, I'm and sorry. it's not a wonderful disease. Mm -hmm. I, my part of my family lives in upstate New York, so mm -hmm. it's a regular day daily problems, so mm -hmm. prevention is a big deal. Making sure that your pet, that we have a newer oral prevention, mm -hmm. fastest kill, 12 hours. So consult your veterinarian, mm -hmm. please, okay. on the best pet product for your pet. Because there's new, there are new things out. I yes. mean, this became very popular where you put it behind their neck, mm -hmm. what, 10, 12? or so oh, years ago, longer than that. Yes. that. But now the new products are We really... have a newer oral product. Mm -hmm. I do oh. still in New York run for my dad's hunting dogs. We put collars on also okay. just because Lyme disease can be transmitted from a tick bite for you or your pet. Oh. We don't see the target lesions like they see on our skin. Mm -hmm. You know, a, little, a, a circle with a round spocal area of a different color. Mm -hmm. But please consult your doctor if you've been bitten by a tick okay. and uh, get your you know, family member treat it. And don't burn and it off and put it, don't put it down the toilet. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Last question, doctor. Um, you know how we can spray our yards for mm -hmm. mosquito repellent or bug repellent or ant mm -hmm. repellent? Can we do that for fleas and ticks as well? Yes. You can, you can have your yard treated. And now, commercially, you have to go through one of the pest companies, pest mm -hmm. control companies, ideally, mm -hmm. because the products that are over the counter is not, not as strong. But okay. mulch, when you bring, like, do new landscaping mm -hmm. this summer, Please treat for ticks. Okay. All right. And it's not harmful to us. I'm sure there are no toxins in that. It's probably safe. For different products? When you products. spray your yard? Um, it depends on what you're using. Okay. They're all labeled appropriately. Okay. And our sunshine burns up products. And real quick, can yep. you feed your dog garlic so they sweat yucky and the ticks and fleas stay away? I no. wish. No, no Italian do dogs. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> well, Dr. Webster, thank you so much for your time and suggestions. If you'd like some more information on uh, Dr. Weber, what's your website at the veterinary it's clinic? It's tampaveterinaryhospital.com. All right, there we go. Thank you, Dr. Webster, so much.